Right, hello everybody, welcome to the kind of first semi-final, I guess, of the uh, Blitz Pit 6. We've got Shawnee versus Wolfbark, both coaches have won all of their games. Um, and so this, the winner of this will be in the final, the loser will get a second chance versus either Crucifer or Random Boy, who both lost a game and they are playing right now in the loser's bracket. But this is the winner's bracket, and Shawnee has Undead, and Wolfbark has Undead. <laughs> um, which is which? I'm not really sure. <laughs> but, but one of them is... Uh... <laughs> Oh, I can look at the thing. Here we go. I can look at the logo. This is Wolfbark. The light-coloured ones are Wolfbark. Right. <laughs> I knew that. Um, so that was Shawnee's setup. Shawnee was on defence there. And they've probably both done something similar. They've both got three guard. One's got Frenzy, one's got Tackle. And they've both got Wrestle and Block. Oh, no! Shawnee's gone sure hands. And Wolfbark's gone block. So that's why Wolfbark has gone losing to Elf Meta with his team name because he has gone block rather than show hands and he's gone frenzy rather than tackle. The tackle, of course, may be pretty good versus the four ghouls. Um, wait a minute, he's only got three ghouls. Wait, Wolfbark's only got three ghouls. And shawnee has got four, but Wolfbark's got 13 men. So maybe, in a way, Wolfbark has more men for going in overtime, but on the other hand, um, Shawnee's got more good players, hasn't he? So, that's interesting. Um... Glorious. <laughs> no, I won't give in. I think Shawnee likes this pretty I'm well, victorious. to be honest. And I will defend. I will defend. Glorious, thank you very much. I didn't, I didn't see who it was there. As it was... As it scrolled off the screen as I was distracted. I didn't have the attention span of a gnat. So, there you go, Wolfbark using a reroll. He'll be glad, I think, to be receiving in the first half. Able to use his rerolls freely on offense. Um, which is pretty good. Um, because if he, you know, that reroll, he wouldn't want to ever reroll that in the second half if he was receiving in the second half. It was Johnny5. Thank you very much, Johnny5. Staying fantastic for over four beaver pregnancies, or alternatively, exactly two beaver pregnancies and a human pregnancy. Thank you very much, J5. A new viewer, welcome to the stream. Instant full reroll. You would have hated to reroll that in overtime. Not in, not in overtime, in the second half, wouldn't you? But, um,. In the first half, I bet he still didn't want to re-roll it. <laughs> and he probably could have just got away with not re-rolling it, actually, but not in the time when he does. So maybe a bit of turn-ordering mistake there. It is minute turns, and it is very tough, especially if you're not used to it. I uh, played pretty bad, I thought, because of the minute turns, to be honest. My tournament that happened yesterday, I feel like I played pretty poorly because of the, uh, the minute-long turns. Ah, oh, thanks very much, J5. <laughs> oh, oh, Shawnee. Also would have probably eaten that in the second half, but he uses it here. Maybe he didn't have to. I think that was more of an instinctive reroll. He could have maybe just gotten away with that, but you don't really want to get knocked over. You want me to get knocked over, he's out the next turn as well, isn't he? That way he gets the three dice on him, probably knocks him over, may well break armour, lets him put a bit of pressure on with that ghoul, and presumably, presumably the, uh, this tackler, maybe he's going to keep him back as a safety because he's pushing forward with two ghouls. He's got the wrestle already to get the ball down. So yeah, he's going to keep him as a bit of a safety. But I think Wolfbark should be able... Oh, he won in nines and gets cars. That was bad move from Shawnee. Um, just a tip, Shawnee, if you're watching. If you're watching this back and you're thinking, how could I have played better? Um, what you do is you don't roll a one in nine failure. And then you certainly don't roll 
about a 44% armor break, and then after that, you definitely don't roll the one in six death. That was bad play, just strictly bad play. Um, don't do that. Don't do that, kids. <laughs> that was a real, real, real bad idea there. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes indeed. And you can just run straight up, can't you? Like, he didn't really put a lot of pressure with just two, two of them there. <laughs> yeah, you should have just rolled better, you know? If, if you can learn anything from Sage... <laughs> if we can learn anything from Sage, it's don't roll shit. <laughs> yeah. And the, the frenzy getting in the knockdown, just as Tackle would have done. Oh, in fact, maybe it's when Tackle wouldn't have done. What was the other dice? Yeah, Tackle wouldn't have gotten the knockdown, but Frenzy does. There you go. Bosh. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's the pressure, and yeah. <laughs> Only a minute to roll good. I wonder if he's not even going to block here, Wolfbark, because um, a failure would be disastrous. <laughs> and he, did, he did block with a zombie, though, and that wasn't a disaster, whereas a, a, a fail from the mummy would have been disastrous. If he'd made this block and double scold, he would have had to re-roll it. That would have been a disaster. And if he double scored with him, that would have been... Uh, probably could have eaten that as well, actually, but not as well. This one was the one that was uh, most equipped to fail, so... Good play. Good play from uh, Woolworth Bark. Hello, Gorilla Metzo. Skuro Metzo. Jump up is the most underrated skill in Division 1 of G-Man. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> For sure, that is the case. Unequivocally, I don't know. I don't know what unequivocally means, but unequivocally, um, people do not play around it in uh, in Dream Man One. Maybe, maybe they might this season because there's a few good players in now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir, Skuro. He is finishing. He is finishing off a game of Blood Bowl. Um, the fool, <laughs> the fool, <laughs> is playing Blood Bowl, and uh, he is finishing off that game, and then he will be in. <laughs> he didn't get high. It's amazing that you didn't get high, Skuro. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> so, Wall of Bark has gotten away with that, hasn't it? Rock right? hard today! But he's in a bit of trouble so now. Is my cock. He's, he might try and get a surf here, mightn't he? Um, this is, he's in big danger of a surf here, is uh, Shawnee. But if he does go for the surf, he's at the mercy of the 1 in 9 dodge out. Which, due to the Frenzy Trap, he's probably at the mercy of that anyway. I guess he could hit with a ghoul, but then he'd have to dodge away with the other ghoul. So I think he's probably going to risk his whole drive on a 1 in 9 here, especially if he gets the push there, which he doesn't. So if he'd got the push there, he may well have gone for the Surf. Whereas now, that might have made him change his plans and not go for the Surf. Who knows? This blitz is obvious, but the question is, does he dodge after it? But does he just fall back with the ball carrier? Because if he fails this one in nine, he's getting his ball carrier hit, isn't he? So he doesn't want that. So I think he won't dodge out. And this isn't very safe, but it's not terrible. He's running out of time. He needs to block this white quickly. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he gets fucked. Now he can three dice that guy though with the uh, mummy. And he can only, but he's probably better off to two dice somebody else. Is a probably a better block to two dice that mummy. 
uh, to two dice this zombie, I think is the better block. But the three dice is obviously safer. And then he rolls terribly. Terrible play by Wolfbark. You should not have rolled that badly, Wolfbark. Beginner mis rookie mistake. I understand it, but should not have rolled so poorly. But I mean that that was the you know that's the block that you make because it's safer. Even though I do think that would have been the better block to make hitting that hitting that zombie. But um, wow. <laughs> and he has got two dice on the ball with tackle. Shawnee would have been with frenzy if it had been Wolfbark. Um. But the tackles are better with a reroll, isn't it? Like knocking the ball down. But Shawnee's only got one reroll, so he's not going to reroll this, even if he doesn't knock down. He is going to reroll it. Wow! Wow! I am shocked that Shawnee rerolled that. Shocked, I tell you. He uses his last reroll on turn three. Wow! I did not expect him to re-roll that. He must think he's in a real dominant position. Because playing the rest of the half without re-rolls at this early stage... I mean, he is in a pretty good position, let's be honest. He's got a mummy there, he's got the tackler there, he's got another ghoul there. Whereas if he hadn't knocked him over, he just three pluses away and he's, he's he can run away, maybe. J5 School of Reroll Management, yeah, exactly. Absolutely, J5 re-rolls there. Good for him. Rick is watching this match, but not coming into the chat. <laughs> Have I got to go to his? He's not in his either. <laughs> We're just both casting it separately. Come on, Rick. <laughs> He's got his headphones on. on his stream. Hi mate, how are we doing? Hello. Hello. Glorious. Uh, interesting start here. We just watched the, the sack, but Shawnee out of rerolls now. Yeah, crazy. Bo both people nearly out of rerolls. One dice from Wolfbark. Oh, there we go. This is his last reroll. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, we are out of rerolls. Nobody needs rerolls. <laughs> it's what I said all along. Nobody needs rerolls. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Now, if they built with a chef, Jim, they, they might still have some rerolls. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy that both 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 players out rerolls already, isn't it? Turn four, very unusual, very unusual. Yeah. Yeah. Um, nice Kaz for for Wolfbark taking out a, a ghoul already considering the lesser bench of Shawnee as well that could uh, prove big in the long run here it was it was a big mistake by Shawnee he won in nine to dodge and got his guy cast oh yeah yeah that's one thing you should try and never do in in Blood Bowl that is a that is a poor play yeah uh, Elliot made that mistake many times in the game that he he got knocked out with his Amazons earlier against <laughs> Colian <laughs> yeah yeah it's a foolish mistake you're it is, you do, yeah, you, you expect better, but it is one minute turns, so... Uh, yeah, and there's you know, a lot of we'll, pressure we'll let, as well. <laughs> there, it is a lot, exactly, yeah, a lot on the line. So we'll, we'll let them off, the uh, the foolish one in mind. Uh, have you watched any particularly good games so far this tournament, Jim? No. <laughs> <laughs> Honest assessments? Um, no, actually, I was in a great game where I kind of got the worst of the look throughout all of the game. And then two ridiculously lucky turns to score two touchdowns and win 2-1, which is pretty good. Oh, sweet. Okay. Nice one. Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good, man. That's a crazy uh, zombie catch. So, uh... Fuck, nearly Ornand 
Shawnee there with a the zombie catch of the scatter. Yeah, but he but, had uh, had And what, what it has done is it's made the recovery a lot more difficult now. Yeah. And in fact, there we go. There's there's the failure. <laughs> wow. How did your tournament go, Rick? Oh, it was, it was lovely. So, um, as Random Boy would say, I, he, he sadly diced me. He's a great coach and he might well have won anyway. But um, the chef took no rerolls, and then a rock killed my Tomb Guardian, turn zero. Oh, God. Uh, and then he kicked it to the edge of the pitch, and I failed the GFI to get the ball, and I had to use my one remaining leader reroll. And then I double sculled the Blitz, and then he blitzed the Tomb Guardian, turn one, and killed another Tomb Guardian. Neither of them regened. So that, that was just a non game, a complete non game, unfortunately. Wow. Um, and then. Um, and then I had a really good game against Kfall and his Dark Elves, uh, and he. Managed to uh, managed his eight turn grind. Oh no, seven turn. Uh, I managed to buy a two turn, but uh, two turning with Camry isn't so easy. And uh, and then I very nearly converted my drive, but he managed to without rerolls left. He managed a GFI one dice sack, and I couldn't quite recover for the score. So so and Kefal's brilliant. He was really good. So yeah, fair play to him. But that was a really fun, good game. You know, I didn't mind didn't mind losing that one at all. Cool. Um, yeah, so it was really nice to play Blitzbit for the first time. It's only because of uh, lockdown that I've actually got the time on a weekend to play it, which uh, was, was a really nice change because it's a great tournament. And uh, I always enjoy casting it, but to get to play was, was really exciting. Yeah, nice. Oh, it is a good, great change by Sean. He can clear, he can clear him off the oh, if if he'd, uh, if he'd followed, he could have cleared the the mummy out of the way maybe he didn't want the mummy out of the way but i would have liked mm. pushing the mummy out of the way as well personally. is he gonna have to dodge the ghoul now because you don't want to risk oh he can blitz. he's still got the blitz i was gonna say you didn't want to risk hitting the white oh no <laughs> well there we go <laughs> this is very ridiculous both <laughs> people are just rolling shit <laughs> another foolish one in nine he uh he hadn't learned his lesson from his previous one in nines <laughs> Yes, it's great to have you in it, Rick. Oh, thanks, man. That's that's from Ori Lensis. <laughs> oh, cheers, Ori. <laughs> It'd be nice to see. I don't think Ori's been in one yet. It'd be nice to see Ori in there. He's a great coach. He is, yeah. Maybe we could see one of his uh, aliases in there. <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. I say we haven't seen Ori in the in the cup. Who knows? You know. <laughs> yeah, could could well have already played. Could could have been half of the. Uh, the player base in the last one. <laughs> <laughs> it's nine of the best coaches in the world. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes to swim. Yes, if you want. If you want, you can ask Rick questions on this stream. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's uh, 501 channel points, though, if I remember correctly, because it's, it's one more than it costs to ask Jim as a, as a token representative of the superior quality answer that you will get by asking me a lot of related questions. <laughs> That's reasonable. <laughs> so it's not like I, I learned from watching you or anything, Jim. You know, that, that definitely wasn't, wasn't the case. Oh, <laughs> other, other than it, other than it definitely was. Um, so yeah. Thanks, uh, so you're a Paul, lovely fella. <laughs> oh, not not a double skull or a one in nine, not really. Oof. Oof. Have we got we got a ghoul a ghoul loose at the bottom here. Nice stun. Oh, he's gonna run out of time. Are he's gonna go for the pickup? He's just gonna base. I think he's just so Wolfbark looks like Wolfbark's just trying to get out of this half nil nil now. Which, to be fair, is a bit of a Bit of like a red rag to a bull to Shawnee here. I mean, Shawnee was already uh -huh. aggressive using his rerolls early, but now he's going to really go for the go for the throat. You'd think. You'd definitely think. Um, I haven't managed to catch any of Wolfbark's games yet, Jim. Um, I don't suppose you have. I, I'm just wondering how the frenzy's been. I mean, obviously he's won his game, so it can't have been too bad. Um, I I played him. In fact, I was I was one of the victims of Wolfbark. Ah. Uh -huh. Um. What happened was I pushed down the sideline and uh, I wanted to try and, you know, he had, he's got so much guard, I thought I'll try and isolate a, uh, also he's got the frenzy white, so I was going to try to like master bait him by, <laughs> <laughs> by going down the sideline, try to get his frenzy involved, then I could counter surf 
or like you know a surfer mm. mummy or something so i'm thinking yeah. i, I want to i've tried so i pushed down a bit too hard down the sideline and i thought well never mind i'll make a one in 36 dodge bad idea failed that give the hit on the ball lost the game um ah so yeah that, that didn't work out so well of course i when i've got to make one dodge to make the ball safe that's never going to happen <laughs> no it, it normally doesn't no. oh yeah that's that's pretty unfortunate mate sorry man yeah, it's all right it is what it is isn't it um, yeah i think it was was it with bark that got all the bullshit against me or no no i think it was calling in the first game got a blitz and a pitch invasion that knocked over nine players <laughs> oh kaz regen but nice to get the guard out for this drive yeah. and his stun white will uh Oof. oh gosh that was nearly nearly off the pitch there his stun white will uh Long stun at the end of this turn as well. Sean is looking pretty strong around the ball here. He is, yeah. He's got, he's got four men around the ball. Four and a half versus two and a half. But the lack of re-rolls is just awful. Also, one of Shawnee's uh, mummies is in the wrong place, isn't it? Yeah, I was just thinking I'd have liked to at least see him try the two dice there with the mummy. Just, just in case you chip a zombie. Um, it's a long, long match with potential overtime. And it can count for a lot in the in the long run. That mummy's not really doing anything, just holding up those two zombies there at the moment. They're so slow, the zombies, that even if they got freed up, they're not going to come over and be relevant. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Ask a Blood Bowl question. Why does Rick's avatar look like Keanu Reeves and Rick does not look like Keanu Reeves? He looks quite like Keanu Reeves, but this is the, the avatar is Wick Reckless rather than Rick Reckless. <laughs> That's why. Because he's in a suit, because we're commentators and we're wearing suits. That's. <laughs> and, okay, Skurometo has redeemed a Rick Reckless title shot. That's exciting. That can happen after. Oh, nice. After the, uh, after all the Blood Bowl. <laughs> oh, I look, I look forward to that. Glorious. How's the driving going, Jim? The driving, uh, I'm getting better. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I couldn't yeah, really couldn't, get worse. Couldn't have gone the other way, particularly. So that's that's good to know, though. Yeah. Yeah. Getting there. That was. I'm not sure about that by uh, Wolf Bark there because, um, like scattering the ball, there was a lot of bodies around the ball, and there was more chance of Shawnee's guys catching it than uh, Wolf Bark's, wasn't there? It's always a bit risky, but it is his drive. He's probably feeling under pressure to at least take a long shot. At, like, he's got the ghoul in the middle, free to collect the ball and run, if he does get yeah. something. Oh, he's got so the pow. Yeah. I didn't like that, that push direction. I would have rather put the mummy where the ghoul went, and then the ghoul would have been where the mummy is, and then he would have been one square closer with his ghoul running out to get it. I'm surprised he I, I was. I was expecting that as well, yeah. Yeah. I don't know what the idea of that was. Yeah, I feel like that was a mistake. I don't know. I don't know what his thought process was. And he's got it. There we go. Kazi rescued his drive. It looked incredibly against the odds. Oh, he's made both the GFIs. Oh! But he could have been one square nearer the end zone, right? If he if he'd done it correctly. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. But he's he's in range now. He's on rank seven. Oh, I guess he this just... way. I guess this way though. Um, if he'd done it the other way around, that goo would have been able to blitz, wouldn't he? Maybe one, two, three, four, GFI, GFI. No, he wouldn't. Who's kept? Able to. Oh, know. just just a tag. Yeah. So maybe that's what he was thinking. Maybe he was thinking of that goo gone round. But oh, oh my one in days! <laughs> <laughs> Foolish, Johnny. What's he like? Uh, yeah, it's incredible. How on earth has Wolfbark just rescued that drive? Incredible, wasn't it? Unbelievable. Oh, because he's Wolfbark and he's a lucky, he's a looker dog. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect eight turn stall, never in doubt. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely textbook. <laughs> looker dog. So... <laughs> uh, the Blodge Ghoul has stayed out for now. If he stays out one more time, that's pretty significant. That's a pretty, pretty big piece. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Oh, yes, of course, Satterfield. Yeah. Oh, Satterfield and J5 resubs, title shots. Yeah. Oh, dear. Yeah. 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 It's, it's good, isn't it? The, the resub title shot. I've, I've totally forgot it was a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I can style resub yesterday as well and missed that. Oh dear. Right, okay. <laughs> uh, bit useless. Just notice Wolfbark's got the fame as well, so unlikely Shorty will get a reroll for the one turn attempt here. <laughs> yeah, no rerolls either player turn four. That was crazy, wasn't it? That was really crazy. I'm a bit surprised that Shawnee basically chose to. Um, because Shawnee like was looking for the sack with his last reroll. Whereas Wolfbarks were to avoid turnovers. But I do think he could have afforded to not pick up on turn one. I, I felt like he maybe didn't need to reroll that on turn one, Wolfbark. But I think that was maybe turn ordering because he could have done blocks first. <laughs> Screw up. I think Tony might have already beaten it actually. Let's have a look. Tony has been champion for four days. Making him. The longest reigning champion. <laughs> hey, now that's a game changer. Yeah. Just in time to uh, have an effect for the second half as well. And there goes the one turn. Yep. Yeah, the heat's horrible, isn't it? I hate heat. It is a bit silly. It is a bit silly. That does give the advantage um, to Wolfbar probably with more players, doesn't it? He's got 13. Yeah, yeah, he's got a much 10. better bench, and uh, his removal at the moment is a, only a KO that could also come back. Whereas uh, Shawnee's ghoul is definitely out for the count. Yeah, that uh, doesn't bode too well for Shawnee. No. The only upside for Shawnee is that um, he's currently losing, <laughs> which is obviously bad. <laughs> Can but, he still uh, do this? This would be amazing. Wouldn't think he's got the pieces, but this is a great effort. Isn't it? I feel like he is going to be, as you say, a man short, but it's a hell of an effort. Yeah, really good effort. The ball's in a nice spot. He might even be able to use the ball carrying ghoul, uh, the collecting ghoul, to, to get into one of the necessary positions. Maybe now. Maybe you do the handoff now. Yeah, I just don't, I don't think he can do it, actually. I think if he does the handoff and then he pushes him to there, he's going to be one man short. Oh, gutted. Yes. Yeah, I think he's one short. It was a great, it was he, great attempt, though. Can, so you can hand off. You've got the, the white free. Then you hit to there, and you've got the middle zombie free. Nah, nah, he couldn't do it. He needed, he needed that, that square filled in by the ghoul. And then that yeah. would have pushed him one forward. He could have filled in one with the uh, white, but he was one man short. One short. Gutted. Gutted. It was a real nice try, though. Very, very... Yeah, absolutely well. beautiful. Absolutely. Surely doing better in a minute than anyone in Rebels done in four minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Two, okay. Oh my god, the, the Shorehands ghoul for Shawnee is gone. Massive. Two zombies for Wolfbark and the uh, ghoul stays out. So Shawnee is one man down. Uh, nine versus ten. Yeah, nine versus ten, but Shawnee will obviously have the LOS hit, so he will hopefully, uh, for the sake of uh, having a decent game, uh, even things up on the LOS turn, but yes, down, down a man for now. And like you say, Shorthand's Ghoul not ideal to lose. Um, saying that, he should get a couple of attempts at the pickup. Yeah, and he's still got two ghouls left. He did have four ghouls, whereas Wolfbark only yeah. had three, so they both got two two ghouls. Um, yeah, two ghouls and two whites, so kind of still equally responsive, like you say, which is the more important thing. Oh, this is a bad, bad setup here. Ooh, we nearly ran out of time. He was nearly just going to have a <laughs> ghoul in, the, in his own end zone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's still a, a little bit off, isn't it? Like, he's left a blitz on the white that he won't have wanted to leave there, I don't think. No, I don't think so. It's a bit bit messed up, isn't it? 
Imagine it'd be nice to have the Frenzy Central as well to threaten the surf on, on both sides. I think he was coming back in. Yeah, yeah, I think he just ran out of time pretty pretty rapidly. <laughs> <laughs> More, more Plovax pointing out that you're in Rebel, Jimmy. Yeah, man. <laughs> so, uh, by, 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 by your own logic, um, that Sh Shawnee, Shawnee's a better coach than you. <laughs> I said his, his one-turn attempt was better than anyone's managed in four turns in Rebel. I don't think I've ever tried a one-turn oh, <laughs> touchdown in Rebel. Fair, fair enough. <laughs> I've enough. just gone for kills. Go for the kills, isn't it? With cup three. <laughs> when you've got four core palm, you don't really want to piss about trying to push movement six, five, six oh, I, guys forward. I heard your team was uh, a tentacles control team in Rebel. It is uh, now, Jamie. yes, because it's not, been... not cloth palm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Thanks for reminding me, Rick. <laughs> you're, you're very welcome. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's the moral it's the moral high ground sort of team uh just it, sh it shows how superior you are don't worry yeah <laughs> <laughs> well, well worth the uh, year and a half you've spent building up that uh, tentacles control team I'm, yeah i'm very pr i'm very proud <laughs> yeah thanks it was great wasn't it a fucking year and a half gone in one night <laughs> <Fuck's sake. laughs> Hello, Flicky Fuck. Glorious. Um, I don't know if you've got my my chat popped open as well, uh, Rick. But Flicky Fuck says my two favourite streamers together. Isn't that lovely? Oh, that's that's really nice of him. That's really nice. Yeah, I do like Flicky Fuck. He's a dude. Um, yeah, it's 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 been an interesting match. There was it was a, the first half was a massive clusterfuck as both players used all their rerolls instantly, and then uh, and then just rolled shit dice and rolled loads of one in nines, one in twenty sevens. It was crazy. <laughs> and it's 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 continued. Shawnee this time eating the one in nine. Yeah, that's quite a big eat, considering he doesn't have the sure hands. So he's only he's going to have to put a team reroll into the pickup, you'd think, uh, next turn, because you'd think there'd be a little bit of pressure now from Wolfbark. Yeah, yeah, that is, uh, that is not a terrible fail, but it's pretty bad, isn't it? It's unfortunate. I mean, the whole... Um, the whole perfect defence was really unfortunate for Shawnee, because obviously he'd be having three dice to block hits otherwise. So his chance to chip back is completely gone. Uh, at least he didn't remove his own mummy. That would have been an absolute disaster. And I really like the eat there on the one in nine. Uh, he's, he's obviously got his head screwed on. First half, the rerolls are only for that half. You can go for it a bit and spend them early. Second half, you've got to think about extra time. Um, and uh, and that's that's why he's, he's taken that one in nine. I think he's going to get based hard here. He's going to get based up. Hope to base, base, base. Yeah, you'd certainly expect so. The skeleton could do work for Wolfwalk. Gets the removal. Oh. Thanks to the perfect defense, getting that hit on the uh, Skellington. Maybe Shawnee shouldn't have had the Skellington on the LOS in case of a perfect defense. <laughs> and yeah, it, that'd have only uh, only have been a KO. Would have only been a KO, yes, on a zombie. A zombie. Oh, yeah. I hate skeletons. I I absolutely love skeletons, but it seems like the wrong time to wave the skeleton flag. <laughs> 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 it's always the wrong time to wave the skeleton flag. <laughs> I ju I just find the movement five really really useful um and the the trade-off for armor to thick skull uh doesn't often make too much of a difference he says just as we've seen the one time that it makes a massive massive difference well it's not that big a difference is it? he's still out for the drive which could be it could well be the rest of the game so and that is true yeah that is true it makes less of a difference with undead obviously as you've got a four plus back from the kaz anyway so yeah if it was... Yeah, exactly. Skeletons are just a way to get better value out of regen. 
<laughs> that's, that's my logic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 sorry. Well, there you go. Satterfield says Jimmy and Rick is the best commentary team. Thanks, Satterfield. Oh, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. And this is and where he, we're missing You're right, Shaw, huh? he did have to put it in, and he has rubbed double one, and now he's under heavy pressure. The two drives mirroring each other, really. Somewhat. Very bleak purple chest. Very bleak now. This could be over before it started. But, uh, at least this is the winner's bracket, so Shawnee will get another chance. And we could, in fact, be commentating on this match again in a we couple could, of hours' yes. time. <laughs> yes, <we could. laughs> yeah. Yeah, I would fancy Shawnee to beat uh, Christopher or Random Boy, to be honest. Random Boy with Kemri, Christopher with Chorfs. Um, Shawnee's already beaten um, Random Boy once. Well, so, uh, yeah, wouldn't be too big a surprise if that was to happen again. I was half expecting Colian to beat uh, Crucifer Jim because uh, I thought if there was one game that the Mighty Blow Claw Wolf would uh, really do some work, it would be against the Chorps. But uh, it obviously didn't happen. I didn't get to see the game, so I don't know why it didn't happen. But Crucifer did well to get get through that one. Yeah. I didn't like that, did you? I, uh, he could have hit with a frenzy and he would have hit him twice, wouldn't he? And then taken him away and then both goals would have been free on don't yeah, like again, that, that is that is what I was expecting there, actually. I was waiting for the frenzy hit, and it didn't come. Very strange. Like, if, if, if he gets the power, that's good, isn't it? Because you get hit with a frenzy, I guess. But still, even then, one, two, three, four, five, six... Was, no, you don't even get hit with a frenzy. That was, I think that was just bad. <laughs> <laughs> I guess this way he gets to scatter the ball if he wants to. Yeah, I guess. But he has got two tackle zones on it. So. Oh! Ouch! This is going from bad to worse. From bad to worse for sure. Oh, Regen. Uh, and Regen's great, but it doesn't really seem to matter too much right now. Yeah, but I mean, he was really screwed if he not Regen. <laughs> <laughs> Now at least he's got a chance, hasn't he? If he makes this five plus pickup and passes to that zombie, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, the zombie. Oh yeah, can... my bad. It's it's fine. <laughs> what was I thinking? Yeah. Zombie can blitz that ghoul, and then one ghoul can hand it off to the other ghoul and potato. That's his only play. <laughs> so yeah, dodge out, pick up on a five plus, dodge out. Oh no, no, Shawnee, no, ow! I think he's done the wrong thing there. I think you should have blitzed that. That wrestle. Shawnee flashlights. Go fuck yourself. Oh, he's kind of like playing safe. Yeah, it looks like he can. Feels like he can stall it. Recover and stall. Which I think he couldn't have played safe. Well, maybe because this is just awful, isn't it? Like this is so so bad for him. Yep. Really wants to not have to use a reroll here, and he does get it first time. By turn eleven with overtime to come would have been awful. Yeah. We can dodge the whiteout at the uh, at the top. Surely you can't eye cage with guard right there. Oh, that seems bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank goodness. There we go. The potato's in. Just wants to get away from Frenzy. Thought we might see a three-quarters cage with the white dodging back down, the way that he'd set up the ghoul and the, zomb uh, yeah, the zombie. But uh, no, he's decided that if uh, Wolfbark doesn't get the sack, he wants to be gone. The only problem here, and he couldn't avoid it to be fair, so it's not a criticism, is that he can get pinned to the side pretty nastily. Yeah. Yeah. He's... Even if Wolf... Wolfbark only gets a push, he's not going to be too upset. Yeah, that's the. Uh... He stopped the three dice though, hasn't he? So that's like he... there's no three dice on him. Mm. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah, maybe one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it probably isn't going to be a three dice on him. So yeah, that's. That's, he's done a pretty good job of it, actually. 
Fair play, hey, fair really, play really. to Sean. He, my initial instinct was to hand off and potato, but he's. It looks like he's fashioned some kind of uh, defence, doesn't it? Yep. Yep. Yeah, considering the circumstances, done really well. So a big mummy hit coming up, but some safe moves first. Yeah, I mean, not that safe, is it? It's a one, one in nine. Oh, actually, yeah, I was just going to add. I sorry, I mean, now he needs to do some safe moves, but I am a little bit surprised that he's taken that before positioning the four free players that he's got and standing the guard wide. So, well, he, he, wanted, he to... wanted to get the uh, get the ghouls through that gap, didn't he? So he had to make that block first. Oh yeah, absolutely fair enough. But he could have still moved that. He should have, should have still moved, stood that guy up first. And like, the zombie wasn't coming through, so he can... Unless he wants to GFI. Maybe he wants to GFI the zombie. Yeah, he probably does, yeah. Here we go. All right. Oh, dear. <laughs> nightmare. Absolute nightmare for Shawnee. Full power. Doesn't risk it going out of bounds. And now he can do a cheeky GFI and fails. <laughs> <laughs> and gets stunned. <laughs> yeah, Wolfbart used to rolling powers on two dice, full powers. Uh, about about 150% of the blocks he made against me were powers. <laughs> <laughs> Every time he hit a dud bludger, he rolled a power. <laughs> Sheesh. No, I don't know. I'm just saying that. It just felt like he was lucky. Obviously, he did everything right. I just rolled a couple of double ones at bad times. Oh, so what's what's the silver linings here for Shawnee? He's got the ghoul's only stunned, so at least he'll get him back for next turn. Oh, and that's a big removal. Gets a mummy. Yeah. He's still got enough turns that that could prove uh, very significant. Uh, he's got a free wrestle ghoul that could come and uphill the the mummy off the ball. <laughs> We're in full Rick mode now, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> Always look on the bright side of life. Yeah, something, something like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I think he's I think he's up Shit Creek without a paddle. That's, <laughs> that's my assessment. <laughs> that's the gym side. Fair, fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Four plus pickup attempts. No, not this time. Decent scatter though. I think he'd rather it go that that way than uh, back the way he came. Yeah, but this is now. Um, Wolfbark can uh, can get in and do stuff now, can't he? A bit. Yeah, if, if Wolfbark has any sort of a decent turn here, then that's probably effectively game. Yeah. Um, Shawnee needs him to critically fail. One of his actions. Yeah. I think he might actually blitz the white with his white here. That seems like, you know, in one way it's a waste, but on the other hand, I think it's not a bad idea. I mean, yeah, st it. straight away. Proven correct. God, look at Jim good at Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Jim, it's, it's a results based game, so. <laughs> no. Wow! <laughs> 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 Stab me in my heart, Rick. <laughs> I think he... Nah, it doesn't matter, but he probably should have moved like... Oh, no, he couldn't because he, he'd have to dodge. Okay. M maybe he's could have just stood the uh, wrestle ghoul near the ball and then dodged out the other ghoul at the end. Like, maybe... Because now, by pushing him there, he can't get through with his other ghoul, can he? I guess he could run around the front. Hmm. Maybe he Wolfbot just quickly. collects it on the wrestle and goes backwards here. And just Yeah, he doesn't have to advance at all, does he? He can yeah, just he happily... Uh... Slow, yeah. Oh, he's going to... Oh, no. He does come through. You're going to see two dodges or just the one? None, because he runs out of time. Nope. Not at the end. And sticks him there to make that dodge... Difficult. So Shawnee can fairly easily two dice that white back and open up the, the gap. 
Yeah. Or plus three plus to get the wrestle ghoul out. But he's, he does obviously have the ghoul on the left next to the mummy. <laughs> so he's going to have to dodge away the white as his scoring threat, isn't he? <laughs> I think it's uh, early enough, in the, late enough in the drive that he needs to do that now. Yeah, well, it's it's like he's going to have to eventually. I would just wouldn't have stood him up just because I would have think I was going to have to go for the dodge. Like, it's just so horrible. Isn't that what I mean? Like, that's why it's so horrible. Even if he does all these rolls and everything, it's just it's just horrible, isn't it? It, 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 it absolutely is awful, but if he did recover the ball, say, next turn um, properly on a ghoul, he'd still have time to run it all the way in. Didn't clear the way, as, as he probably should have done, and pays the price by getting that one in nine. I do agree he should have uh, taken that zombie down, one, two, three, four, to assist that block, hit the white. Yeah. And instead he put him in there, not really doing a whole lot. Uh... Well... Maybe it's finally getting to him. Uh, he's had some pretty awful luck this game. And he's yeah. played a hell of a lot of blood ball. Yeah. Hello, Zenai. That is probably game. Yeah. Does uh, does Wolfbart go for the score here, do you think, Jim, this turn? Um, so it's definitely game over if he does. Yeah, he might as well, might he? <laughs> he's in, is he in range? No, it is a GFI, so maybe he just comes over to the right. It, I guess it depends how this ghoul blitz goes. Nah, he'll just stall one here, I think. I don't think, there's a, yeah, I don't think he's going to make a GFI. Oh. Yeah, I, I can't see him attempting a GFI, to be honest. Maybe he'll prove me wrong? Well, I, I'd say now the reroll's gone. Definitely, definitely not. I think you... Yeah, you're absolutely right. Now the reroll's got this. There's a hundred percent chance he doesn't <laughs> doesn't cheer. Yeah, yeah. Might even just holding too the... far. But that's the thing. Even if he goes like back now, you know, even oh. if he loses it now, it's so it's so far down the pitch. It's just good for him, isn't it? Don't like going to that square. Um, because you're giving um Shawnee a chance to scatter the ball off. Yeah. And yeah, right really. now, like those kind of long shots are the are the best chance that Shawnee's got. Yep. Yeah, I agree. Um also, um, Johnny Five, you're quite wrong there because Shawnee actually gets to play more by losing. <laughs> this could be this could be a two dice on the ball. Not too No, I think he'll just go for one one. No, he's is he going for the he's gone for the two, okay. He's going for the two dice on the ball. Um, Le ball. Oh. And he fails. Good, good effort. Good effort. So now I think uh, Wolfbart will score because he can get the assist and 2D and score and then 2 0 up and he's won. Yep. Yep. Shawnee not done though, like we said. I wonder how the other game's getting on. Ah, yes, there is. So the loser of this will be playing the winner of Crucifer Random Boy. And, uh, or random guy. <laughs> I think I I think I told him, oh, are you random guy? Like a, a few months ago, he turned 18. And I said, oh, are you random guy now? As a joke. <laughs> and he's coming to this tournament as random guy. So maybe maybe you like that idea. Oh, wow. Crucifer and random boy are only on turn three. <laughs> oh, yeah. I did get a message. Somebody, I think uh, Purple Chest said in my chat that uh, they started about 20 minutes late or even later than that. So... Maybe, well, well uh, yeah, I, I guess we get a bit of a break, Jim, and then we'll convene for the uh, this bracket final. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm glad you agree, Purple Chest. I, that definitely gave Shorty a, more of a chance than he should have had at that stage in the game with how it, how it had gone. Yeah. Uh, well, nonetheless, well done, Wolfbark. Brilliant. Four brilliant eight. play, brilliant win. Random boy fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Put his alarm one hour wrong. <laughs> Bl bloody teenagers. <laughs> Incredible. I believe he's 18, Wayne Farah. What is in Skura Metzo, yeah, yeah. So yeah, this one's over now, isn't it, really? Uh, what, Shawnee could get a riot 
and one turn and then or two turn and then get a blitz and two turns. It, so there's still technically a chance for Sean. You're draw. start starting to sound like me here, Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, I was trying. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. <laughs> I didn't have quite the level of enthusiasm when you were like, you can uphill the mummy. And <laughs> this is a great opportunity to uphill the mummy. <laughs> and make a 4 plus 4 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus. <laughs> oh, there's a blitz for a buff bar. Oh, good. <laughs> ah, there we go. We're passing turns and we're done. Oh, yes, we can do a few title matches before the next game. That's a great idea, yeah. J5. Okay, Jim, I'm going to take a break then before the uh, Losers Bracket Final. So I'll I'll see you in a short while. Um, thank you very much for co-commentating this game with me. Really, really enjoyable, mate. Oh, thank you. You too, you lovely fella. Oh, well, it's, 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 it's just <laughs> see, finished. See you very soon. Bye. See you later. Tschüss. And thank you very much, Rick, for the co-cast. Thank you for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.